Alright butterflies, it's been a long time, I know it's been like over a year, yeah over a year, I don't think I hit two years yet since I actually made a video. Now, the crazy thing is, when I was posting videos and stuff like that, I didn't feel like anybody was, like my channel was growing. That's not why I stopped though. I just hadn't been feeling like that mood of sitting down and I just been like in a rut where I didn't just, I just didn't feel like doing anything. So that didn't have anything to do with it. But it's like, since I haven't been making any videos or posting any videos, I feel like more people are finding my channel. I get, I get notifications about you got a new subscriber and I'm getting people on my bookstagram, my book Twitter too. And I'm just like, when I was posting, I feel like I, it was hard as hell for me to get subscribers and now that I'm not posting, I'm getting subscribers on videos that I haven't posted in over a year. So I'm coming back. Um, I'm gonna sit down and actually make a like a, a real video like the right way in front of my camera and stuff, which is covered with dust, I noticed. So I just, I'm at work right now, I'm at my lunch and I just felt like making this video now. I am gonna come back, I'm gonna sit down and do a proper video for you guys. I just felt like doing this. Um, I didn't stop reading, I've been reading, I just haven't been making any videos. I've been watching some of you guys' videos and I gotta get back in into booktube and I gotta get myself out of this hole. Like I just, I don't wanna say I've been depressed is not the word I'm looking for I just really have not been in the mood to make videos or do anything because I've started so many projects around the house that I haven't finished because I just haven't felt like it like I have to make myself get up like force myself to get the hell up out of the bed and like go to work and stuff because I'm just like I don't feel like it and I really have to talk myself up to get the hell up and do stuff so I'm just gonna take control of it and just make myself get out of the rut i'm making myself do stuff and get out the house when i'm even when i don't have to go to work i'm actually making myself finding something i started donating plasma just to get out of the house um, i haven't stopped reading like i said um uh, the last book i read was the sun and her flowers by rupee core by rupee core which is a book of poetry, the same, the same, um, author of Milk and Honey. I read that. I read another one that I've been, um, getting off of Hoopla since, you know, libraries are closed. But I didn't like that one. I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it in the description, but I didn't like it. And I'm about to start reading, um, The Coming by Michelle Obama. I put it in a car because I thought I was going to read it at lunch, but I didn't. Oh, and recent news, I finally got my own car. So... I, I plan on doing a couple like vlog style videos, I guess you would say. Um, just because me personally, if I make the excuse of, oh, I don't have time to do it at home and make a video, I won't make any videos. So this way, at least if I'm in a car, I'll just have to record on my phone and see, and you know, vlog style to at least say, look, I made a video. Because then I can't use that as an excuse for, oh, I'm not at home, so I don't have time. If it's something quick I can do in a car, then I can do it in a car. I need to get caught up on all the booktube drama too because I haven't been like active so I don't know what's what's the drama going on in booktube today because there's always some kind of nonsense because it's always like uncalled for drama so I need to get back into that stuff too I don't know I think that's all I got for you guys oh non booktube non booktube news Check on your retail friends because we are not okay. Especially right now, we are not okay. Now, I work at Home Depot, so I never stopped working. I've always been considered essential, but which is bold. But, I mean, I guess I should be happy. I still, you know, had a job and just had checks coming in. But it's been rough, okay? People are coming in the stores, and I hope y'all are not some of these people that are coming in and y'all are ruder than ever, okay? Just... If we don't have something, we don't have it. Don't take it out on me. I, I I just work here. I don't drive the trucks. I don't decide what goes on the trucks, but we don't have it. If y'all notice, um, I don't know about everywhere else, but I know like around here, a lot of like the shelves are empty if it's not like essential stuff because a lot of stores are focusing on getting a lot of the cleaning products in and all of that kind of stuff. So a lot of the stuff we're not getting in. Like I work at Home Depot 
and I work in plumbing, so like a lot of like faucets and toilets and stuff like that, we not getting a lot of that stuff in because it's technically not considered like essential items. Like you know what I mean? Like they getting a lot of like parts in, so you can like if you need to fix you know pipes and stuff like that or something. But they're getting upset <laughs> because oh well, your website says you have it. The website is wrong. We don't have it. I'm sorry. And it's like you ready to jump on my back and curse me out about it. But look, I, I just work here, ma'am. I don't, I don't know, okay? So please don't go in the store and take your frustration out on other people. Y'all are frustrated. We're frustrated too. I understand. Even a lot of these, like, places that are requiring, like, customers to wear a mask in the store. Like, because I know employee-wise, we have to wear it in the store. Employees have to wear them customers it's not mandatory for us because i know some people it's mandatory for the customers like i saw a video uh so uh costco one of the costco somewhere costco is it's mandatory that the customers wear the mask as well and he was cursing a guy because he wouldn't check him out because he didn't have a mask on and i'm just like it's not his fault it's company policy we don't make the rules but if we want to keep our job to pay our bills and take care of our families we kind of have to follow their rules so don't take that out on us it's not our fault it's, that's above my pay grade. I have to do what they say if I want to keep a check. Unless you're going to pay our bills, then then we can have a conversation. But other than that, I work for them. That's their rules. I got to follow it. I don't make it, but I have to follow it. So, yeah, check on your essential retail friends. We're not okay. We are not okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later when I, you know make my actual video okay like a, a real sit down video which i'm not sure what that one's gonna be just yet but we'll cross that bridge when we get there so bye butterflies see you guys later don't forget to like share and subscribe bye